Do you get lag spikes or dropped frames near certain objects in liftoff while neither your CPU or GPU are being fully utilized? Today we look at how to fix this issue. I've had this issue ever since I built my new computer. From discussions on forums, it seems this issue is related to CPUs with many cores and threads. My whole setup is listed in the description. The main highlights are listed. My CPU is the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X, and my GPU is the GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Here's the first solution. Once you have liftoff running, click Control shift escape on your keyboard. This will bring up Task Manager. You may need to click More Details at the bottom to expand it. In the Task Manager, go over to Details, go down to liftoff.exe, right-click, go to Set Affinity. By default, Windows is going to be using all the CPUs in your computer. We want to uncheck all processors, and for me what seems to work best is using the first eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click OK. And then go back into liftoff. And let's fly around and check. Oh, that is so much better. You can see we're locked in pretty much at 100 frames because I have VSync on. Oh, that is beautiful. So much smoother throughout the entire map, actually. Let's look at some other spots in the game for comparison. This is with CPU all processors. You can see we're only at about 65, and there's a really bad spot right around here. Hanover Course 3, first eight processors. This is the Pit Course 2, all processors. This is the Pit Course 2, first eight processors. You can tell that the performance is significantly improved, not only in certain bad spots, but everywhere too. Unfortunately, you have to reset the affinity every time you close and reopen liftoff, but this is my preferred method. Here is an alternate solution. The plus side is that you don't have to keep setting the affinity every time you run liftoff. The drawback is that it only works in offline mode. The first step is to test which affinity works best for you like we did in solution one. Next. Use the Bitsum calculator, I have a link in the description below, to get the hex value of that CPU combination. Copy this value, as we'll use it in a moment. Find the liftoff.exe location. For me, it was C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Liftoff. Right-click to create a shortcut. On your new shortcut, right-click and go to Properties. Make sure you're in the shortcut tab at the top. You need to find the target field and replace it with this line. See the description below. Make sure you paste in your own affinity value we found from the Bitsum calculator. Click Apply and OK. You'll now notice that the icon has changed. You can use it as is, or if you want to, you can right click and go to Properties again and go to Change Icon. And I have this link for the icon for the game in the description as well. Click Apply and OK one more time, and you have your offline solution. I also wanted to briefly mention a third solution. Bitsum has a program called Process Lasso, which will allow you to permanently set CPU affinity. Process Lasso will, however, need to run in the background at all times, so I don't care for this method. You can thank James and Triangle for figuring this out. I'll leave a link to their original solution if you want to read more about it. I hope you found that helpful. If you want to help others out, please leave a comment stating your system specs and if this fix or any others worked for you. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.